Hi gang, how you doing? Uh, it's been a little while since I've done an update video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the support. I've been out of the jungle now for two weeks and I'm back fully into normal life. Uh, back down at uh, London Shoot Fighters doing the um, MMA, preparing for my first fight in Bellator. Uh, obviously, uh, got a few DJ bits and pieces lined up, um, which are coming pretty soon. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience in the jungle. What an incredible thing. Obviously, a great honour to be invited to uh, take part in that show. Never in my life have I felt such uh, incredible support. It was tough, um, as you can imagine. Um, a lot of people in the real world and uh, people on TV shows don't understand a lot about nutrition in terms of uh, calories and what's required. Um, so I was a bit of a shock to the system after kind of day nine. My body started to, uh, to shut down. Uh, obviously, the more muscle you've got, the more requirement for fuel and hydration you have. Um, so when people say everybody's starving, it doesn't really apply. You've kind of uh, got differing, different abilities, different requirements. So after about day nine, I was getting dizzy, didn't have any energy, and I was walking up and down those uh, steps carrying water most of the time. Um, but it was great. Uh, obviously, you know some of the challenges uh, were, were insane, eating bullseyes, drinking pig's anus, um, getting covered in cockroaches and, and bugs. And what, the interesting thing is actually, to be honest with you, that a lot of that stuff didn't bother me. When you had to do a challenge, and obviously big sausage fingers were not great at most of those challenges, uh, you have to be careful of not hurting all the animals. I mean, sort of not really that bothered about that, but obviously animal rights and those animals were not volunteering or not uh, eager participants. They were thrown into it, so you've got to respect their uh, feelings. I'm not sure a huntsman spider has feelings, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. Um, I got to meet some great people as well. You know, I'm so glad that Jacqueline won. She thoroughly deserved it. Uh, I thought she was incredible throughout. Um, you know, really great to get to know Roman um, and Miles and Ian Wright uh, and Andy and Cliff and uh, Adele and Nadine. Um, all of them were, were, were brilliant. You know, Kate um, Garraway as well. All, all the people were so, so nice to spend time with. And it was a real kind of eye-opening experience. Uh, I'm very honoured to be part of it. Um, I didn't find, as I said, the challenges as hard as I thought I was going to find. I'm actually scared of everything, but uh, I never told anyone what I was scared of. I just pretended. I said to Chloe, um, when they asked me what uh, I was scared of, I said, I'd hate to be thrown into a tank of naked ladies. Chloe gave me permission to say that, but luckily that didn't happen because that would have been inappropriate. She's watching in the background now. Um, but actually, yeah, I managed to deal with it okay. Uh, my hands and my body were not great for a lot of the challenges. Unfortunately, size was a bit of an issue. Um, but you've got to suck it up. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really, I was really humbled by all my campmates' reactions. I know there was some interesting editing going on, and um, you know there were some ups and downs uh, in the real world. But look, you know you shouldn't believe everything you read. I, I really enjoyed it. I think um, you know it was, it was a stressful environment, and um, you know I've always not intentionally um, wanted to be, but have ended up being a bit of a leader in regards to certain things and making decisions. And sometimes in life you've got to do that. Um, but it was uh, it was great to be part of that um, part of that camp and, and made some friends for life. I've already caught up with a few Roman and uh, and Miles. And myself were talking about the wings, the chicken wings we wanted to eat when we came out. So we met up at uh, Orange Buffalo in Shoreditch the other day. Had some food. I'm looking forward to going to watch an Arsenal game with uh, with Ian. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking very excited. But a new chapter, you know, fighting, DJing. That's what I'm going to spend the rest of. Uh, my time doing. I'm in New York at the moment enjoying Christmas. I'm going to go off now and train, keep myself in shape. I'm getting battered and bruised uh, most of the time, but I'm absolutely loving it. So I'll catch you all soon. There's lots of updates coming. I've still got loads of stuff from Japan that I haven't posted. Obviously, um, I had to go straight into the jungle, so I didn't get a chance to put all that up there. But you'll see all that uh, all that stuff coming pretty soon. Um, so stay tuned on Instagram or YouTube. If you like this video, then subscribe, share. Lots more exciting stuff coming in 2020. Have a great Christmas. Catch you all soon.